Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured since I'm still at home and like probably everybody else is stuck at home, I'm going to be doing like a self care day and I want to do like some skincare and then I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me and just kind of have like a chill self care chit chat type of day. I'm going to be using this mask that I had gotten at Rainbow, um, at the Rainbow store. This was a while back, like months ago, but I haven't, I've only used it once. And this is the Forever Young by Jean Pierre Coconut Facial Mud Mask. And it says it provides a revitalized, uplifted appearance to tired, dull, dirt, dr dirty, <laughs> to tired, dull, dry looking skin. Um... It just says clean and dry face. I just wash my face. Apply mask to face in circular motion. Leave it on for 15 minutes and follow with a moisturizer. So it says it's coconut, which I love anything coconut. So I know I look crazy right now because I just picked my hair up for sakes of applying this without getting it all over my hair. And should chat with you guys. Um, I have been going through it. Um, not just... By the way, I did wash my hands before I did this and sanitize them because I'm OCD about that right now. Um, I don't have like a mask brush. I wish I did. But um, I have just been like really anxious with all this going on and like trying to deal with like my mental health. Um, like doing a lot of self-care and like mental... <laughs> I'm a mess. And like just working with my mental health um, because I already have like a lot of health conditions going on and um, as of recently the worst one is that my hand my left hand has been numb for two months now and I've seen like multiple doctors a neurologist all types of doctors and nobody can figure out what the hell is causing it except they think it's because I've been on prednisone for a year so um, that I'm having like severe side effects but they're trying to help me taper from it because you have to taper steroids when you've been on them as long as I have um to do it safely so oh my god it looks like somebody slammed my face with a pie but um oh my god this really smells like coconut it smells so good you guys it smells really good so my hand has been numb and I'm left-handed so the big problem with that is that driving has become really difficult and just everything that I have to do has been really hard. And until I'm fully off steroids, which it's going to be a couple more months, the doctor said, um, I have to deal with it. And it's just been really hard. And it's really like messing with my anxiety and my mental health because I just don't know what it is. And I'm not getting like definitive answers from doctors. So it's been messing with me a lot. And so I decided to start therapy again. And I've been doing therapy sessions with a therapist like over the phone every week. And she's great. She, oh my God. Look, I said, so I don't get it on my hair and I got it all over my hair. Oh, well, fuck it. Um, I'm not going for perfection here. Uh, this looks crazy, but it is what it is. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so she's just been like, I think I put on too much. What do you think? <laughs> She's been like telling me like as far as the um, like my health issues to just try to take it like one hour at a time or one day at a time and just do what I can um, and try to like just focus on what I can control right now. It's because she knows about how like I'm so scared with everything that's going on. It's just been like really messing with my mental health. So she just tells me to keep focusing on like what I can control and I mean that that advice is good for everyone so if you're struggling like I am try to focus well what she said to me is just focus on what we have control over we don't have control over what's you know the virus or the death count or what's going on in the news but she said we do have control over how much of it we take in as far as like the news out there and social media um, so she recommends that I don't, like, I try to stay away from all of that um, and just 
focus on what I have control over here, like so my home and disinfecting my home and just taking care of myself and making sure that my kids are safe and just doing things that I enjoy at home. Like I love watching movies and like series on TV and I love to read um, and just little things like that. So I've been trying to do that a lot because, you know, I have severe anxiety. So I have to do what I can to make sure that I stay sane and everybody else, you know, if you struggle, if you're struggling, which I'm sure you guys are, um, just hang in there and just try to do what you can within your control because that's really all we have control over. And so, yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Just, I've been doing therapy and it's, it's really helpful to get another perspective from like an actual therapist. I don't know what it is. It just, it helps me a lot. I know it might not be for everyone, but it helps me. So, okay. I'm going to leave this mask on for about 15 minutes, like it says, and I look crazy. I look like somebody slammed a pie on my face, but in case you're looking for it, they sell it at Rainbow. They might have it online. I got this for a dollar um, on the website if you're looking for it. It's the Coconut Face Mask um, by Forever Young. And, um, yeah, I got this for a dollar. It was like at the register, but it smells amazing and it feels really cooling to your face. So I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes, rinse it off, and then I'll be back and then we'll moisturize and probably do like a little get ready with me. So yeah, I'll be back. all right you guys so we rinsed off this mask my skin is feeling like super soft it feels really good and we're gonna put on this moisturizer which is the one that came in my ipsy bag it's called tatcha the water cream and i love this cream i've been using it um it's just like a good moisturizer it really like i don't know it just makes your skin feel so hydrated and I'm loving it so far. As you can tell, I have really sensitive skin. So um, anytime I do like a face mask or any, anything, anything, even makeup, my cheeks turn red, like right away. I have really, really sensitive skin. Um, not too, too red, but I do get flushed. So you can definitely see it. Um, this cream feels so good. It's like so hydrating. I like to put it on my eyes as well. I don't use like separate creams, but it's just such a good cream. But they, I think they do sell it individually. It's called Tatcha the Water Cream. Let's see if you can see that. This one came in my Ipsy bag, but um, I wish I had like, I might get like the full size of this because it's that good. So we're just going to let this dry a bit and we're going to do some makeup. I'm also going to show you how I curl my hair with my flat iron. So this one has a lot of use, as you can tell. I've used the hell out of my flat iron. I use it every single day, which is not the best thing for your hair, but it's the easiest way for me to curl my hair quickly instead of a curling iron. So yeah, let's do some makeup. All right, so we're gonna do the foundation first. And my favorite foundation is the CoverGirl Clean Liquid in Classic Beige. So yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm just doing some makeup just for the heck of it. It might take some Instagram pictures. Who knows? But just for fun. And I still wanted to, like, get on here and chat with you guys and make some videos because, you know, I can't go out there right now and do try-on videos like I normally like to. So, yeah, I just wanted to, like, get on here and put something up, something at least to do. <laughs> Um, just to keep my channel active as well, and I do like to play around with makeup and do different looks, so this is a good way for me to test different things and experiment. So I don't know what I'm doing today with my makeup, though. Mm. 
you guys, I want to go do my brows so bad, but can't go anywhere right now. <laughs> this was like acne and it turned into a freaking skin tag, like right there. And it's like the worst possible spot to have a damn skin tag. Um, usually I go to a dermatologist and get them removed, but now I have to wait. <laughs> I'm literally doing all of this with my hand numb as hell. Like I can't feel, it feels like if you, my fingers are pruning, I don't know if you can see that my fingertips. Um, it feels like when you dunk your hand in like really, really cold water or you pad your hand under water for hours, but I haven't, but I feel that that's, it's like the worst feeling ever, but hopefully I'm just hoping it gets better. I don't know at this point. So, okay. We got the foundation, this little one. Okay. I got this little one. This is the one that came in the Ipsy box. Ipsy bag. I have not used these colors yet. I don't know. Should I do these? Yeah, let's do them. So this one's by Pacifica and it came in my Ipsy bag. I have not used it yet. It is wild hemp. This is cruelty free, 100% vegan. So let's see what we can figure out with this. Okay. I'm going to start off with this little light color as a base first. I went today and did groceries at Walmart, um, but I didn't go into the Walmart. I've been doing Walmart grocery pickup and basically you place the order on the app and they get it ready for you right now. They're like, it depends where you live, but mine has like a two day delay. So I place the order and then they tell you two days later, um, they schedule you for like two days later to go pick it up. So that's the, wait, I didn't blend this right. Hold on. It's hard to blend things when I'm looking at the camera versus a mirror. It's easier if I'm just looking at a mirror. But, um, so I picked up the groceries and basically they come out. The representative comes out and they, um, fill your trunk up. So it's like no contact, which is great. And, um, you can pay online or you can pay like, they bring a little like mini register type of thing where you can slide your card. Um, so basically what I did was I slipped my card through the, cause I'm super paranoid right now. I slipped my card through the window to the, um, associate so she could swipe it for me. And then, um, she just filled up the trunk and that, that was it. So it's pretty convenient, especially if you're, you don't want to be in the stores right now. That's, that's what I've been doing. Either Walmart grocery pickup or the shipped app. I like the shipped app because they deliver from Target. Um, the only thing is the website will say that there's certain things in stock when they're not actually in stock. So like I had ordered chicken, I had ordered beef and like a case of water and none of it was in stock, even though it said available. So basically they just take it out of your cart. Um, they don't charge you for it, but they take it out of your cart before and you get notified like at the last minute, which sucks. But yeah, I'm having a really hard time finding meat. So it looks like we're going to have to go like vegetarian <laughs> until <laughs> all this is passed, you know. Hold on, I'm just looking for another brush that I have. Okay, here we go. So the next color I'm going to use is this one right here at the end, this little shiny one. I don't know what it's called, but it's really pretty. Hopefully you guys can see this. I know my lighting is not the greatest for these makeup videos because I don't have a ring light, but I have like one of those bright daylight light lights right now. So it's like a daylight light bulb, but I just feel like it doesn't show the makeup like properly. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see it. All right, so I'm going to go in with this one right next to it. It's like a brown. It's more like a matte brown color. I don't know. I 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with this. See what, what I come up with. <laughs> I think I put too much. Okay. I'm going to use this mirror though for my brows because it's hard to kind of line them properly when I'm on um, looking at the camera. It's a little razor. It's like a little brow, like a little brow razor. And then I just do like the middle. I need to do it with a mirror though. Ah, you see how dirty I got? It's fine because this is just like a shirt that I was using for the face mask. So it's whatever. But basically, I just do this, you know, get the unibrow out and just kind of like shape them. The next thing is I want to put liner on my actual eyes. So I'm really wanting to try um, two beauty boxes. One of them is called Allure Beauty Box and the other one is called Lip Monthly. It's like a lipstick subscription service I think I might try lip monthly next because I do want some new lipsticks or like lip gloss so um I think that might be the next one I try let me know in the comments below if you think I should try it or which box do you think I should try next I do have an ipsy bag coming for April so I'm not sure when that will come though I don't know if like the mail is delayed but at some point I should get one to do another review. Okay, so I'm trying to think what lipstick I can do. I'm gonna do this brown today. I'm not gonna do the pink that I normally do. This brown is from Avon. It's an old lipstick. It's a nude color. I'll find the color and link it down below because the packaging is like, messed up so I can't see the name of it but look it's like a nude like a kind of like a light brown dark nude color so I'm gonna do this one today because I have the brown in my eyes it's just a pretty nude color I, I like it um, I've had it forever though I'm going to put some mascara. This mascara is the Pretty Vulgar Mascara that came in my BoxyCharm. And ugh, the packaging is so pretty. Look how nice. And this one's in black. It's just pretty. I'm sure these makeup looks would look better if I wore fake lashes, but I don't know how to put fake lashes on. And I know that sounds stupid, but I'm actually, I don't like to have a lot of stuff in my eyes. It just gives me anxiety, so... That's why I don't do that. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see that. And I am the messiest when it comes to eye makeup. All right, so let's see what else. Okay, so this face powder. Actually, that's gonna be the last thing. Um, I want to put on this highlighter that I got. In my ipsy bag. I need a new setup for makeup because this is not working for me. It's just too messy. I have all my makeup in there and I have to like search through it. I thought it would work, but it's not working. It's just not working for me right now. What do you guys think I should do to organize this makeup? I don't know. Give me some tips. I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay. Oh, that's my alarm. <laughs> this is not the brush I'm using. This is the brush. Okay. So this is the highlighter by Shayna B. Miami. And it came in my Ipsy bag. And I love it. I've been using it every day. It's, I mean, it's a little darker than what I like, though. I like highlighters that are a lot lighter. But this is cute. This works. For what I'm doing right now, it's perfect. Hopefully you guys can see that. I love wearing highlighter though, and I really want some lighter shades. 
I really like that glowy look. I love it. It's like, I don't know, it glams up anything you're doing. I hope you guys can see that. I could see it, but with the sliding, I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can see that. I just think it's really pretty. And I am not going to put this face powder because I feel like it's going to take away take away from the highlight. So we're going to leave it at that for the makeup. Then we're going to do this hair. So give me one second. Let me connect everything and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair with the flat iron. And this flat iron, you could probably do it with any like one and a half inch or one inch flat iron. This one is from Revlon, but I've had this for years and it's like worn out. Like this is my go-to every day. So it's like really beat up, like messed up, but this is what I do. Um, so I've passed a brush through my hair already. I just want to show you how I do it and how quick and easy it is to curl your hair. So just grab a piece, right? And my hair is naturally curly, so I like to straighten it because my natural curl is not the type of curl that I like. So basically, you grab like an inch of your hair and you start twirling it as you go down, right? But you want to do it slowly. And then you get a curl. Um, so basically, I like my curls. So here we go. So you just grab a piece of hair, right? So I do it and you just start twisting it that way, like back. <laughs> I don't like really tight curl, but I like them loose. So this is kind of gives you like that wavy look. Um, I'll show you. It's hard to see because my hair is so dark and the sliding is like not ideal, but let's see. So right here, I grab too much, but you want to grab a little bit less so it's easier. And then you just go down the strand of hair and you kind of hold it there just to let it heat up and then you release it. My hair is a mess right now. It's a mess because it was sprinkling outside. So it got wet. So now it's like super frizzy. So you want to put something in your hair, um, ideally when you do this. Right now I've been using Argan oil um, on my hair. This little like Argan oil thing. I don't have it on me, but I'll show you guys when I find it. So my hair is super frizzy, so it doesn't, it's hard to tell what I'm doing, but let me just show you. Just grab a strand of hair and you start twisting. Well, that you can see. So then I go throughout my whole entire head of hair and I do that. But I'm going to show you how quick I do it. Um, how quick I can get this hair down. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I've just been staying home, obviously, and watching a lot of Hulu. I have been watching, oh my god, I am hooked on this new show on Hulu called Little Fires Everywhere with Reese Witherspoon and um, Carrie Washington. That show is excellent. Oh my god, it is so good. So this weekend I was binge watching that. I watched season two of Shrill. I love Shrill. It's so good. And um, now I don't know what to watch. I'm watching Okay, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I know my lighting's not the greatest, but this is literally what I do to curl my hair. And I just go around my head and I just twirl pieces. Little by little. 
I don't like tight curls. I like them loose. So I just, I don't do the entire like strand super tight. I just go like in pieces. Yeah, that's what I do. That's literally what I do to curl my hair. It's super easy. I think it's easier than a curling iron because with a curling iron, you have to like wrap your strands around it. And I don't have time for that. <laughs> so that's what I do. And I just go around my entire head of hair. That's, that's all I'm doing. So yeah, I don't know what else to watch. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on what are you watching? I've already watched Love is Blind. Oh my God, Tiger King. Watch it. It's crazy. It is the craziest documentary. It's about like this guy who runs a... Um, he runs one of those like zoos and he owns wildlife at home. It's just, it's crazy. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but if you've seen the memes, it's, it's just so crazy. It's funny. It's, it's just crazy. I've never seen a documentary like that. Um, this guy owns like a zoo in like his home, I want to say, and he has like employees working for him and it's just, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I explain it. It's about wildlife and like how he has these um, animals in his house, these exotic animals, like tigers and lions. And it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy the stuff they do for money. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, but you guys should definitely watch it. Tiger King was definitely shocked me. And um, yeah, I'm just enjoying all the memes online. It's it's just a good distraction. But I finished that. I binge watched it in a day. Um, I binge watch a lot of Netflix lately. So I don't know what else to watch, you guys. The hardest part to do is the back. But I mean, I'm not really going anywhere. So I just wanted to show you how I curl it. Hopefully you guys can see how quickly I did that. And then, um, so I just grabbed strands. Literally, it would be easier if I had like a little comb usually i take more time with this though um but it's 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 really quick to do if you need just a few curls like i don't know that's just easy for me <laughs> so yeah um i know this video is like forever so long but i wanted to show you like what i'm doing today just like my skincare makeup and just chatting and just showing you how to curl my hair um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was like all over the place but let me know in the comments below um what you're doing to self-care what you think i should do how i should organize all this makeup because i don't know what else to do um what else to buy i should get something to organize it because it's a mess so let me know in the comments below if you guys like this video and what other types of videos you want to see. Obviously, I can't go do try-on videos right now because I'm not going to stores for the heck of it. So yeah, right now I'm just trying to come up with different video ideas. So I would love to hear from you. And thank you guys so much for watching and stay safe and stay home. Thank you for watching.